Welcome to the Horse Talk Show. Have you ever seen a horse who could talk? With your host, Louisa Barton, who really wants to be a famous rider. She really loves to ride fast. Presented by Peterson and Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care. Who says I have horses with people problems? Now here's the Brit on the bit, Louisa Barton. Enjoy the show. Join us July 22nd from 10 to 3 p.m. for the Equine Extravaganza at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion Ocala. Brought to you by West Florida Fence and the Horse Talk Show. Fundraising for Spirit Equine Therapy and Open Hands Animal Rescue. Enjoy a fantastic breed show from miniature horses to Clydesdales. With jumping and dressage demos, you can also watch barrel racing, dog training, mounted shooting, and enjoy food vendors and crafts for kids, plus a silent auction. Check the Equine Extravaganza fundraiser event on Facebook, and we'll see you on July 22nd from 10 to 3 p.m. at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion for the best in horsing around in the horse capital. Larson Farms is our TV broadcast sponsor. Mr. Richard Larson, a man of great integrity, cares about every single bale of hay and about taking care of his customers. He also has a huge heart for those genuinely in need. Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Thank you for joining us on the Horse Talk Show this week, presented Whoops. by <laughs> Peterson Smith Equine Hospital in Complete Care. Thank you to Larson Farms, our television broadcast sponsor. Idaho's finest alfalfa. Louisa Barton here in the studio in downtown Ocala in the horse capital of the world. We're dancing Pete Rhoda from Complimentary Horsemanship, starting off with the show lineup for today it's pretty good we have dr chaot who's going to be talking about beating the heat although it's been rather pleasant the last few mornings uh it gets warm in the middle of the day don't say that out loud no. <laughs> we like it cool we in the do. mornings and we've got george from gentle carousel miniature therapy horses an interview that pete had a chance to do with him during the horses and literacy program downtown we've got the mayor and i don't mean the mayor the female horse either by the way <laughs> Mayor Kent Gwynn, <laughs> Mayor. talking a little bit about the Manhattan Film Festival and uh, the opportunity for George and Debbie to take magic to Manhattan, which we're very excited about. And we also have Rick Meyer, who is a hall, recent Hall of Fame inductee with his wife Janice in the Pasofino world. He's also a great MC, a wonderful guy to interview, and very educational on the Pasofino breed. So we have a, a really great lineup, and then we're going to finish it up with Pete's Horsemanship Tip of the Week, Ocala Dog Ranch uh, Tip of the Week, and also some health from Fabian at Reboot for Equestrians. Reboot. Reboot. I know I love that. <laughs> so it's uh, it's a great lineup. Uh, but I do want to remind you one more time. I know you probably saw the commercial at the beginning of the show, but I want to remind you about the extravaganza that's coming up. We've got to fix the poster on this because I do believe it is now 8.30 to 5 p.m. But this is the Florida Mounted Equine Extravaganza, July 22nd at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion. If you're not familiar with that, it's where they have the, a lot of the rodeos. Uh, it's brought to you by West Florida Fence and the Horse Talk Show. There's going to be a fantastic, phenomenal breed parade. They have so many breeds lined up for this. It's so great. And Louisa doesn't care about the parade at all. She, that's no, just like our favorite of thing. Not. I love seeing all the sorts of horses we have here. It makes us so special. So come see us July 22nd. Yes, demos, so. kids crafts, vendors, and more. And it's all going to benefit Spirit Equine Therapy and Open Hands Animal Rescue. So great causes, a great event, a wonderful team of phenomenal people we love the florida mounted they do so much to help us in so many different situations so we definitely want to get out and support them for this fantastic event they helped you find the horse no they certainly did help us find dolly and they helped us in the hurricane and they're going to help us with the middle schools here in marion county with horse visits and they do so many wonderful things they're a 501 c3 and they uh they do everything they do is is professional and well done but this is also kind of equine edutainment because you learn about all the different sports and breeds and all of that but you're also having a really good time so we call that equine edutainment 
The equine initiative is coming up on the 15th. Had to think about that. The 15th of June. And that is hosted by Marion Therapeutic Riding Association. Refreshments by Danny Q Barbecue and Florida Roof Designs, Inc. That's going to be at the Marion Therapeutic Riding Association. Thursday, June 15th at 2 o'clock. A great way to learn all about the miraculous benefits of therapeutic horseback riding and interaction with the horses and a great opportunity to meet Danny Q himself and have some of that barbecue, which will be great. So you'll Danny get Q barbecue. Danny Q barbecue. Oh, they're <laughs> lovely people. They, they own Florida Roof Designs, which is another brilliant idea that I can't share with you. We don't have enough time right now, but a brilliant idea and lovely, lovely couple and I think it's going to be a great fun event, and you'll get to kiss Wesley, probably. The horse. Oh, I was like, <laughs> what? The horse. Oh, that's where you kiss the horse. Yes. Okay. Congratulations to some of our sponsors. Uh, congratulations to all the best of the 352 area, uh, all of you. And if I missed any of you who were sponsors, I apologize. But these are the ones I noticed. Best Tax Shop TT Distributors, who we love. Um, best hay company and feed company Larson Hay. Seminole was running up close behind them in second and then Gentle Carousel Miniature Therapy Horses got the gold best non-profit organization. So hats off to all of you. Uh, touch well well done to be the best of the 352. It was all done in a voting process so you, you got the most votes and you guys rock and congrats to all but we definitely wanted to do shout out for the ones that uh, we're affiliated with and know well done to all. Woo-hoo. Yeah, that's a big deal. Really big deal. Uh, I want to also do a couple of shout, out, shout outs for a, a couple of dear friends of mine. I want to start with Betsy from Larson Hay. Um, this is actually from last week when she just jumped right in to do some recording for me. And I was not available because I believe I was coming here to do the show and I took her the gear and she jumped right in to do something and she's just game to try it and and it's funny because when I met Betsy she wasn't super techie you know she wasn't even really into super techie she didn't even have an iPhone she had a Android at the time and now she's like miss uh, I can record anything for you and do interviews so she (laughs) she's she's Larson's Hayes finest yes she finest help and you know where she is this week she was actually going to be here on the show with us to do a segment but she actually flew out to missouri to see a dear friend of hers who's going through some some personal um, health struggles with her father and she immediately booked a flight and off she went because that's who betsy is she's one of those people that you want on your side in good times and bad times and everything in between. <laughs> yes betsy i think she should get the horse talk show award for Ooh. for um yeah the horse talk show award just for being real because we so appreciate real and she's real and genuine she tells you like it is sometimes you <laughs> you know because she's real and uh, but i love that about her and you and who else are we shouting out before we're we- shouting out for Miriel <laughs> because she came out with me on sunday in a storm to visit my horses and meet them and she met mr flynn and just like everybody she fell in love with him and his big old head she loved him right away and he loved her which was really cute and she helped me medicate the mini's eye and I got started on my Beamer, which I'm going to tell you about. Believe me, I'm going to keep you up to date on Beamer progress. we got to go to break. Uh, but really quick, Piranha Golf Tournament is coming up again just around the corner. Golf with PGA Pro Ted Potter. This is the Piranha Family Foundation Belf Benefit Golf Tournament. Can I say that? Uh, and we're going to talk about that in the final segment too. So we'll have that for you coming back with Dr. Adam Kayot. Stay with us. This portion of the show is presented by Peterson and Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care. And our TV broadcast sponsor is Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. Supporting sponsors are DAC Vitamins and Minerals, Seminole Feed Stores, Lip Chip LLC, Piranha, Florida HVAC Services, Crystal Cryo, Ocala Dog Ranch, and The Drinking Post. This show is brought to you in part by DAC Vitamins and Minerals of Florida. All horses need a solid immune system, excellent joint support, a healthy gut, and DAC has all the vitamins and minerals they need with the NASC stamp of approval. So like them on Facebook now or go to feeddac.com. DAC, 
it makes a world of difference. Horseman, are you tired of technology that doesn't fit your way of life? Lip Chip, built by Horseman, for Horseman, is ready to revolutionize your world. The answer is in the Hooflink system. Simply implant, scan, and unlock your horse's health information. From driving to Grand Prix jumping, all horses, all breeds, and all disciplines. The future is in the integrity and transparency of all horse sports, and in the safety of our horses. The future is here, and the future is Lip Chip. Experience the bluegrass. Step into the Elwood Hotel and Suites, situated in the heart of Lexington. Elwood is a unique yet familiar place, your home base, to explore. Minutes from the University of Kentucky and the best distilleries on the Bourbon Trail. Only a short drive from horse country and from the iconic Keeneland racetrack. Full of warm, natural light, Elwood rooms are inviting, a space to retreat, rewind and relax from spacious rooms to extended stay suites each room is unique just like you don't miss a beat in your fitness routine either and your fairy friend is welcome too elwood has cozy beds yummy treats and snuggles too elwood is more than a landing place it's a tribute to a contemporary southern lifestyle a delicious place to refuel and to launch your Lexington adventure. Book your stay at theelwoodhotel.com and like them on Facebook now. Settle in at Elwood and begin generating memories in the heart of the bluegrass. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. Back on the Horse Talk Show, presented by Peterson Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care. Thank you to Larson Farms, our television broadcast sponsor. Idaho's finest alfalfa. We're going to have a segment now with Dr. Adam Kayot. He's talking a little bit about beat the heat. Pete said be quiet because I don't know if anybody, any of you have noticed, if you're up early enough in the morning, it's been rather lovely in the really early nice. mornings. <laughs> and it's been rather lovely in the evening. And there's a couple of times I've even gone, ooh, I could even wear a light jacket. And how rare is that in June? Pretty rare. So we're very grateful for the lovely weather, but we do feel like it's probably time to prepare for at least July, right? The, the fun heat. <laughs> <laughs> the fun heat. The time that when I first moved to America, I honestly thought I was going to suffocate. I'm well, not kidding. I I take I've five hour. I take five hour lunches. I get up <laughs> real early, do a lot of stuff with horses, take a five hour lunch, and then finish up when it's cooler. Yes, I don't blame you. It's that middle part of the day is a bit rough, but uh, but we're going to switch it up now to Dr. Adam Kaut. He's going to give you some tips about keeping cool and keeping your horse cool, etc. Enjoy. Louisa Barton here for the Horse Talk Show and Equus Television at Peterson Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care with Dr. Adam Kayot. We love having Dr. Kayot on the show. He always fills us in on the latest information that we need on veterinary care. And being in Florida, not today, fortunately, but we are warming up and we're going to get into our very hot season soon. So I'm going to talk to Dr. Kayot about some recommendations for beating the heat for our horses while riding and also perhaps even when they're turned out, things we can do to help them out. Dr. Kayot, congratulations oh, uh, you. on your uh, on your wedding. That thank was you. absolutely thank wonderful, you. beautiful oh, thank photos. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. It's, uh, you know, it's a blessing that uh, you know we're together and 
look forward to the future. The family looked amazing. Yeah, lovely, we're, lovely photos. We're very happy. That's, well, uh, well done. This is nice. She's got a lot to put up with. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Back to beat the heat. <laughs> exactly. Beat the heat. So, so certainly the heat down in Florida is it can be an issue during the um, during the summertime. So the normal temperature of a horse is 98 to 101. So um, that's that's what the textbooks say. There's very few horses that actually have a 101 normal temperature. So 101, a lot of times we're considered high most of the time. So that's your normal resting temperature. Um, <clears throat> now, when horses are working, especially during the summer, and they they you know like some of these um, eventing horses and things like that. And, uh, even horses that are pulling a carriage and, and things that are that are really taxing. When we when we stop them during their during their phase during their cross country phase, you'll get temperatures of 104, 105, those sorts of things. That can be actually normal, and um, they you just have to give those horses a little bit of time to cool down, and then they can send them on their way for the rest of the rest of the course. Um, so they they can deal with a very high fever and I've seen I've seen horses that are sick that'll carry a 104 105 even even sometimes even after um, even after uh, vaccines sometimes they'll they'll actually spike a fever that high where it gets really scary is basically higher than 105 because um, horses can have heat stroke and um, certainly you have to be aware of that um, especially for your non sweaters and in the summer um, I've, I've um, you know, unfortunately over my practice, I've had several horses come succumb to heat stroke. So certainly being aware of the physiology of your horse, um, pay attention to them when they're out in the, in the summer heat and certainly when you're riding because just because they've always sweat before doesn't mean that that won't come up and obviously sweat helps regulate that temperature. So um, being a non-sweater can pop up just like that and when you're riding make sure you pay attention to that and certainly even it gets warm enough down here in the summer that even horses standing out in the field will um, get overheated uh, simply because they aren't sweating and they need to sweat so you need to pay attention to that but um, things that you can do to keep them um, uh, comfortable or keep them at the right right temperature a lot of times down here, people will leave misters out and the horses can get under misters, make sure obviously they have access to plenty of water. Um, if, even if they have a, a pond or something to go stand in, they'll do that. Um, a shaded area, a big tree, any of those things will help. So that's the best thing that you can do is just be aware of where, where you're keeping your horses, be aware of what they look like when they're out there, be aware of are they sweating like they normally do when they're, when they're being ridden, and, um, and just, you know, just make sure they have, they have a place to cool off. One of the things that actually made me think about on the way here even today is the fact that we're having a kind of a nice cool day today and what tends to happen at this time of year in, in this area of Florida, actually in all of Florida, is we have some days where the temperature comes down quite a bit like this and it's nice and then tomorrow we might have like high 80s, low 90s again and it'd be very humid. So those rapid changes are something that people need to be aware of. Yeah, that, that can be, you know, that can be difficult and that's the most difficult thing for the horse is these big temperature swings. Um, certainly a lot of times um, when it goes from warm to cold, they don't drink as much and then, then that can lead to other problems like colic and that sort of thing. So certainly um, the wide swinging temperature variations are, are difficult for them, um, but just, you know, as always, as I always say, just pay attention to your horse. You know your horse better than anyone, and um, just just look at them and, and, and see how they're doing, and, and um, that's going to keep you out of a lot of trouble. Lastly, what would be the major signs that you need to call the vet with a potential heat stroke? What are you looking for? Obviously, drastic change in what you're used to seeing with the horse. Right. So um, when you're when you're reaching that point, a lot of times those horses will be down. They'll have a they'll have a very rapid respiratory rate, so they'll bre typically be breathing very fast. And then obviously. Um, every horse owner should have a thermometer and just use a rectal thermometer on the horse and take their temperature and see where it is. And obviously if they aren't sweating and their temperature's above 102, 105 and they're not doing anything, 
um, that's obviously concerning. So at that point, you should call your veterinarian and um, try to cool them off as best you can, put water on them. Um, best places to put water are between their hind legs, over their pole, um, in their axillary region, kind of where the girth would be. All those places help cool them down underneath the tail. Those will help um, do that. Alcohol baths are good too. So you put a little alcohol, just rubbing alcohol in water and that put, you can put that over them and that helps evaporate quickly and that's what gives them some relief. Um, certainly ice, if you have that to cool them down, all those places are, are something you can do until the veterinarian gets there. Wonderful. Thank you. Dr. Adam Kayot, Peterson and Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care. I'm Louisa Barton for the Horse Talk Show. This portion of the show is presented by Peterson and Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care. And our TV broadcast sponsor is Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. Supporting sponsors are DAC Vitamins and Minerals. Seminole Feed Stores, Lip Chip LLC, Piranha, Florida HVAC Services, Crystal Cryo, Ocala Dog Ranch, and The Drinking Post. At Crystal Cryo, you can relax and enjoy a non-invasive cryo skin facial. Reduce fine lines and wrinkles and tighten the skin. Improve texture and tone. Stimulate collagen production. Reduce inflammation and acne. And increase blood flow to the skin, resulting in a more youthful, radiant appearance. And it all takes only about 30 minutes. Boost your confidence now and set up a consultation. Find Crystal Cryo at crystalcryo.net or on social media. Experience Experience the ultimate in relaxation and rejuvenation. Pamper and revitalize your body, mind, and spirit at Crystal Cryo. This show is brought to you in part by Seminole Feed Stores, family owned since 1934. Manufacturing fixed formula horse feeds with mindful monitoring and quality ingredients right here in Ocala in an all natural, non medicated feed mill. Seminole Feed, simply the world's best and safest feed. Like them on Facebook now or find them at SeminoleFeed.com. Peterson and Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care seeks to be a leading international veterinary practice that provides state-of-the-art veterinary care to their patients while fostering professional relationships with their clients that stand the test of time. For 24-7 and the best in equine care, check out Peterson and Smith at petersonsmith.com or like them on Facebook now for more information. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. Back on the Horse Talk Show, presented by Peterson Smith Equine Hospital in Complete Care. Thank you to Larson Farms, our television broadcast sponsor. Idaho's finest alfalfa. Guess what? Pete and George, here we go. Welcome, Pete, Dance and Pete, here with the Horse Talk Show and Equus TV. We're here with George Garcia with Gentle Carousel. We're in downtown Ocala at the Marketplace, and we just had an exciting event happen. George, tell us what just happened. Yeah, well, we had a great turnout, 350 kids and adults that came for the Reading with Horses by wow. Gentle Carousel Miniature Therapy Horses. So when you say Reading with Horses, are we talking a real horse came out and talked to the kids? and? <laughs> What well, we, we did a little of both. We, uh, we read a story and usually it involves a, a character and that character is a horse. And then the actual horse from the book will come out and meet and greet with the children. So they get an opportunity to hear a story, uh, meet the actual character of the book. And some of them actually get to pet the horse magic. The horse magic. Yeah. Wow. If I was a kid, I would go nuts yeah. if the actual character walked out and I could actually see and touch. So. Tell us a little bit more about what Ger uh, Gentle Carousel does. Yeah, well, we're a group that has uh, 23 horses and we take turns, uh, they do different jobs, but uh, we go out and visit with children in hospital care, uh, veterans and seniors, 
Uh, something exciting that we're doing is our Reading with Horses program. We're actually bringing horses into the elementary schools here in Marion County. It's just super exciting because one, we get kids excited about reading and uh, engaged with books, and I think that's just super important. Um, what I like about this summertime program is, you know, obviously they're out of school, but they're still involved with books. Um, the other thing is they get engaged with horses. You know, I think when you bring out a miniature horse like we did with Magic today, yes, sir. they get to interact, they get to touch a horse, and oftentimes it's the first time they've really been around a horse that's that small and that gentle. It's less intimidating, so it's a great introduction. Uh, we feel like it's, a, it's an ambassadorship. These, these little kids get to meet a horse, they get to understand you know, the character of a horse and just how to behave around a horse. So I, I think just having that imagination with books and with horses is a good combination. Now I've also heard your books have life lessons. Like Thank it's you. not just, oh, here's a book and it's about a horse. Yeah. There's actually some life lessons in there. Yeah. Well, today we did uh, my friend, Officer Magic. Uh, we're, you know, Magic is a sworn uh, officer with the Ocala Police Department. Wow. So really what we do is uh, we introduce children to, uh, you know, some important jobs in the city. The mayor was here, but we also had law enforcement here. We had a police car. So they get to learn about what uh, the police are able to do in the community. They keep us safe. Uh, they work really hard to make this just a great place to live. And, you know, I, th I think children should uh, look up to police officers and knowing that they're, they're a great resource, a great help, and a great comfort if they ever need one. Um, so those are good life lessons. Um, so we got to hear a little bit about you know, what, what police officers do on a regular basis. And they come in different sizes, even a little magic. She's a police officer. So I, again, I, I think it just gets kids excited about learning. And then, and then there's another horse, Circus. That's and I right. believe that's the one I heard a lot about with the books yeah. where they actually go and say something nice about that's right. So tell us about that one. Sure. Well, one thing, uh, we're going to be here every Thursday in June at 10 a.m. and we're bringing a different horse each time. And one of the stories that we do is, uh, is called Spot. And it's a book about you've been spotted being kind. And we bring out Circus. Circus is an Appaloosa, black and white. And uh, he's tiny as well, not quite as tiny as Magic, uh, but he's got black spots on his white coat. And so the children get to hear the story about being kind. And uh, the story goes that, it, you know, when you're, uh, you're spotted being kind, saying something nice to either a schoolmate, a teacher, you know, people, you know, friend, uh, one of the spots on circus turns from black to a color. And so by the end of the story, uh, circus is all multicolored and you can just see all the good things that have happened in the community and the school and whatnot. Then what we do is we bring the actual horse, Circus comes out and meets the children. We use washable finger paints and they get to actually paint the horse. So they paint the black spots with a different color. Wow. And by the end of the program, uh, Circus is multicolored. So again, it's the horse coming out of the book and in real life uh, seeing uh, seeing the value of being kind in a real physical sense. You know, when you do an act of kindness, it really means something. We call it a, a superpower. Uh, we ask kids how it feels uh, when you say something nice about somebody, a teacher, a parent, you know, somebody who's done something for them, how that makes them feel. But also the people who, uh, who receive the compliment, how does that make them feel? And usually, you know, people feel very uh, heart warmed and, uh, we talk about that being a superpower. Oh, you know, I think, I think children realize that uh, you know, they have the ability to, to change someone's feelings, to make them feel good about themselves, and that, that is a superpower. Well, here's my superpower moment. So I'm gonna give you a spot <laughs> and say you and Debbie, your wife, uh, are amazing people uh, that really get into the community and help people that are sick, having bad problems, yeah. disasters, things yeah. like that and now getting the kids to read yeah that's huge. thank you thank you i appreciate you saying that yes sir that means a lot yes sir and it's very gratifying you know i think to be able to go out in the community and do that and make a difference uh it's it, it gives us a lot of satisfaction i mean these horses are very special and to see them do such a great job uh we, we feel privileged we feel honored to do that but well, i appreciate you and saying the that. and the other part of that is you guys are non-profit so yeah. you this is what you do and the only way you get money is by donations yeah, yeah. hint hint <laughs> out there yeah so donating to your gentle carousel is how you keep this on the road that's right, right. yeah 
Well, it, it is a mission of, of, out of passion. We do this because we love it. Uh, we can see how these little horses do make a difference, uh, but we do need support. And especially with this program of Reading with Horses in Marion County Elementary Schools, um, we have great volunteers and uh, it just requires some resources to do that. Uh, so we do need some sponsorship. Uh, we have some great uh, opportunities for uh, people to partner with us uh, to bring this about. And it'll be a year long program, making a difference in the community. So if there are people who want to help us out, we'd be delighted to have you partner with us to, to do this worthy project. Yeah. Definitely. I'm I am on board. Thank Let's you. get the partners out there. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about how the horses live at home, because yeah. this is what I enjoy is it's not just here. They got to come out here and behave and do all these things. What I love is when we watched your movie, yeah. we got to see them actually being horses and playing yeah. and having fun. So tell us a little bit about what home life is sure. for these great horses. Sure. Well, thank you for mentioning that. And the, the documentary you were talking about is The Hero Horse, Magic the Hero Horse. And that really uh, highlights the work of really all our horses, but you know, the story of magic. Um, our horses, they do some amazing things, um, but they live natural lives. They live out on the pasture. Uh, we have a farm. Uh, I think the difference is uh, we work with them. I'm the main trainer and I, I spend time with the horses. Uh, so we build a, a special relationship. I think when you have that special relationship, you can ask a horse to do things. Um, we take a look at what the horses enjoy doing. Uh, like with Magic, it's just funny to watch her look around. She's very inquisitive. She's a smart horse. And uh, when she's with me and she knows she's safe, she, she explores, she looks around and she feels very confident that this is a great environment. She gets to meet new friends, new people. So all of our horses sort of have different jobs and different things, but they have a sense of, of knowing that this is, this, is, uh, this is okay. You know, there's the farm life, the horse life at home. And then this is out exploring the world. Um, I think appreciating how intelligent horses are and how inquisitive they are, um, it, it makes it really powerful. Uh, they're not asked to do something they don't want to do. If, if the horses didn't want to do what they, you know, what they're asked to do, they wouldn't they come wouldn't out. Yeah. And the, the neat thing to wrap this up is when they need to go to the bathroom, how do they tell you? Yeah. Well, again, we have a relationship. It's communication. Uh, but what the horses will do is a, a little paw and uh, we bring them back into the van. They have, uh, you know, it's like a stall, shavings, food and water, everything's here. So they know this is the place where they can, uh, you know, have some downtime, they can go to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> but when they're working, they know that's a different environment and yes, uh, they're, they're on their, uh, their best behavior, you know, interacting with children, seniors and veterans. Uh, but they also know that very soon they'll be able to come back and uh, have some rest time. Well, we want to thank Debbie and George and Gentle Carousel for coming out and making our community great. So we'll see you on the Horse Talk Show. Welcome back to the Horse Talk Show. Have you ever heard of a horse that could talk? Listen to this. <laughs> With your hookums, Pete dances. Louisa Barton. She's literally in love with every horse. Presented by Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience. She's back in the saddle again. And now here's your host. Pretty, pretty. Louisa Barton. She's a Brit. She's got the gift of the gas. And her guests are fab. Larson Farms is our TV broadcast sponsor. Mr. Richard Larson, a man of great integrity, cares about every single bale of hay and about taking care of his customers. He also has a huge heart for those genuinely in need. Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. Hey there, horsemen. Are you tired of technology that doesn't fit your way of life? Lipchip is ready to revolutionize your barn. Built by horsemen, 
four horsemen. Lip Chip knows how you ride. If you're tired of carrying around paperwork, dealing with long trailer lines, and juggling all your horse's details while trying to compete, then the answer is the Hooflink system. Simply implant, scan, and unlock. Each scan reveals everything you need to work, compete, and to protect your horses. View current health paperwork, pre-register for your next event, and even check in on your horse's health. Horsemen, let's keep our horses safe and make our lives at the barn a little easier. The future is here, and the future is lip chip. This show is brought to you in part by DAC Vitamins and Minerals of Florida. All horses need a solid immune system, excellent joint support, a healthy gut, and DAC has all the vitamins and minerals they need with the NASC stamp of approval. So like them on Facebook now or go to feeddac.com. DAC, it makes a world of difference. This hour of the Horse Talk Show is presented by Palm Chevrolet in Ocala, where the entire team is committed to making your experience in sales and service hassle-free and easier than ever with no games or gimmicks. Come in and visit on Southwest College Road or online at palmchevrolet.com. A second-to-none experience with all the amenities. Palm Chevy, find new roads. The Equine Performance and Innovative Center, situated on 30 pristine acres in the horse capital of the world, is one of the finest and most complete conditioning and rehab centers for equines and canines in the nation, including an equine hyperbaric chamber, aqua pacer, water treadmill, cold water leg spa, equine swimming pool, Eurosizer, and more. Epic equine veterinarians specializing in rehab and conditioning. For more information, go to epcrehab.com or find them on social media. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. Back on the second half of the Horse Talk Show, presented by Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience. Thank you to Larson Farms, our television broadcast sponsor. Idaho's finest alfalfa. Louisa Barton here in the studio with Dancing Pete Roder from Complimentary Horsemanship. We are in the CEP's equine studios in the horse capital of the world, downtown. Now, anybody would think we were gentle carousel miniature therapy horse fans. No. Well, we are. Yes. <laughs> we really are. Uh, no, we're beyond fans. We're beyond fans. You're right. We're groupies. Groupies. We actually qualify as groupies for gentle carousel miniature therapy horses. But other than being some of the most amazing most giving most generous people uh they have the organization that's a 501c3 and they do everything for this community that you can think of from visiting first responders being an official police officer to help people get to know the police and god forbid you should need to call the police we want you to feel comfortable doing that trying to make relationships in the community uh, with magic and the other horses it's just amazing and literacy visiting sick and dying folks in hospital and hospice and rehabs they pretty much do it all and um I'm so impressed with them and, and sharing what they're doing and last week was their very first one for this summer of the literacy program that they do at the downtown market and it's free for all ages and in this interview with Mayor Gwynn I think I say there's over 100 kids well there's actually over 350 people altogether OPD apparently counted and it was a huge turnout for their first one of this summer and really impressive the mayor of ocala was wow, able she got to mayor right. i know right not <laughs> we do have a mayor a mayor in england it's a lord mayor by the way yes uh but we do we did have a chance to be there with them and and the mayor was able the mayor of ocala was able to give them some campaign money that he had left over has to be given to a 501c3 apparently and they were very fitting to help them get to the manhattan film festival with magic so she can walk the red carpet we think that's pretty exciting so we're going to share this little chat we had with the mayor of ocala mayor Gwyn, with you now we hope you enjoy Louisa Barton here at the ocala downtown market for the horse talk show and equus television on all smart tv networks and we're here for gentle carousel's reading program we have Mayor Kent Quinn with us, and we're just going to talk to him a little bit about why this event is so important and why literacy and the books and the horses together here are so special. Well, sure. Um, 
Well, obviously reading and comprehending are very important. So for these kids to have exposure to, to that in the books is very important. And then the relationship with the police officer and magic and, and everything is just such a, such a great uh, program. I wanted to be out here and uh, you know, be involved in it. So yeah, it's wonderful. Tell us about Magic being an OPD officer. That's pretty special. You know, I was out of town when Chief did that, and I couldn't be there with him to, to do that. So was I. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, you know, that's a big deal. And so, you know, it's a great uh, ambassador for the police department. And so we're honored to have Magic uh, affiliated with the department and as a sworn officer. And so how much better deal. in the horse capital of the world? To have an OPD officer be a horse and yeah, represent absolutely. OPD so well in our community. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, we're excited about that. So. Now she's a special hero horse. Her film is going to the Manhattan Film Festival right. for Gentle Carousel Miniature Therapy Horses. And Magic is now going to be able to go and represent herself there. Thank you sure. to you. Tell us about that. So they told me about their kind of predicament and they had to get the horse you know, to New York and then back to Boca. Uh, for the award they're getting down there from the Florida Bar Association. So she said, you know, we need about $4,000 uh, to do that. And I said, you know what, I, I think I've got some money left over in my campaign account that I can do that for you. And so I called and got the check and brought it over here, you know, presented it today. Uh, so yeah, that's, you know, I think it's wonderful. You know, one of the things I talked about earlier is I'm gonna, we try to get a mounted unit in this year's budget we weren't able to, maybe next year. Um, so I went up to New York and met with the uh, manager, the head of it. And so what I'm thinking is, and I'm gonna try to do this, and we we'll have to coordinate it with NYPD, but get uh, the mounted unit, some of the mounted unit from NYPD to come to the film festival to honor their fellow sworn officer, you know, from Ocala uh, to, uh, to see him uh, to see her get the, the the award so so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna call today and see if i can make that happen listen we know that you can make things happen well, i don't know it's up to <laughs> up to nypd but i'm gonna i want to ask so we'll that's see. incredible tell us about the turnout today over 100 kids i think here today uh really special to see these young people get to see the horse debbie reads the book the horse is in the book and then the horse comes out of the horse trailer and the kids right. get to see the horse. How important is that in the summer for literacy to get kids still reading and involved in the summertime? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's huge. I mean, you know, they're out of school and everything. So, you know, they've got plenty of time to read. You know, there was, when they asked who's ever petted a horse, you know, there were just a lot of hands went up. So that little girl that I asked, I said, don't you want to come up? And, you know, she was, I think, really shy, so she didn't want to come up and she kept her hand up the entire time and the little boy sitting next to her was telling her put your hand down and she's like no she's like no <laughs> and so she kept I gotta it see up the horse. so hopefully she was able to uh, pet the horse so yeah it was, it's it was really, really a special important. experience yeah. and i yeah. think in the horse capital of the world it's incredible that we have this opportunity and the gentle carousel miniature right. therapy horses a 501c3 give their time oh, and yeah. their energy and their volunteers to be here and make this possible sure. so definitely wonderful thank you any last words of course we want to see them win the manhattan film festival oh right? absolutely <laughs> yeah yeah magic gets to walk the red carpet and everything so that'll be that'll be wonderful so yeah I, i'm sure magic will do real well there thank you so much for making that possible thank you for your commitment uh, to our community to these sure. kids and to the horse world all right thank we you we love you Magwin. thank you Magwin here in downtown ocala yeah. louisa barton here for the horse talk show thank you to the presenting sponsor of this portion of the horse talk show palm chevrolet your hometown chevy experience thank you to our tv broadcast sponsor larson farms idaho's finest alfalfa also thank you to supporting sponsors nirvana medical spa tt distributors summit joint performance Equigreen, Midnight Rose Equestrian, the Florida Horse Park, Horse Farms Forever, and the Equine Performance and Innovative Center. Having an air conditioner that works well in Florida is a must. Experience peace of mind by working with Florida HVAC Services.
a family-owned and operated company taking pride in always putting their customers first, providing air conditioner repair, installation and maintenance services on all makes and models. For those suffering from allergies or asthma, air quality testing is recommended and hospital-grade air filters are available. Ask about a pure air filtration system today. Check them out at flhvacservices.com or like them on Facebook. Florida HVAC Services, serving all of North Central Florida with honesty, integrity, and the highest value of workmanship. And that's 100% guaranteed. This show is brought to you in part by Seminole Feed Stores, family-owned since 1934. Manufacturing fixed formula horse feeds with mindful monitoring and quality ingredients right here in Ocala in an all-natural, non-medicated feed mill. Seminole Feed, simply the world's best and safest feed. Like them on Facebook now or find them at SeminoleFeed.com. Join us July 22nd from 10 to 3 p.m. for the Equine Extravaganza at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion, Ocala. Brought to you by West Florida Fence and the Horse Talk Show. Fundraising for Spirit Equine Therapy and Open Hands Animal Rescue. Enjoy a fantastic breed show from miniature horses to Clydesdales. With jumping and dressage demos, you can also watch barrel racing, dog training, mounted shooting, and enjoy food vendors and crafts for kids, plus a silent auction. Check the Equine Extravaganza fundraiser event on Facebook, and we'll see you on July 22nd from 10 to 3 p.m. at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion for the best in horsing around in the horse capital. <laughs> My name is Dr. Natalie Solomon. I formulated Equigreen with cutting-edge science and technology alongside the passion that is represented by a lifelong love of horses. I created a product that I would trust for my horses because they deserve nothing but the best for their bodies. Horses rely on us to take care of them, to love them, to respect them. This is how Equigreen came to life. Equigreen, CBD for your horse that you can trust. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. Back on the Horse Talk Show, presented by Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience. Thank you to Larson Farms, our television broadcast sponsor. Idaho's finest alfalfa. I was trying to do my American accent on the break. It was not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was good. That's terrible. Uh, we have got segment two with Hall of Famer Rick Meyer. He was at the Pasofino show at WEC, the, the extravaganza, and what a great guy to chat to about a phenomenal breed. Here's Rick. Brought to you by the Equine Initiative, presented by Piranha, the Horse Talk Show, and Larson Hay. Louisa Barton here with the Horse Talk Show and Equus Television, and I have Rick Meyer with me. Now, you and your wife just celebrated 50 years. 50 years. Is that 50 years of riding and training horses together? Well, no, actually, I was doing that longer than that, but uh, when we got together 53 years ago, right out of high school. Wow. Um, yeah, we've been, uh, we've been in Pasofino horses since 1978. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. So were you riding when you were a child as oh, well? Oh, yes. 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 Other breeds, polo ponies, uh, jumpers. Uh, I did some dressage work at one time. Yeah, I, I basically worked with seven different breeds. So accumulating that experience, it's been wonderful. I've worked with some of the, the very best in the world. And um, I feel very fortunate that I was able to do that. How did you fall in love with the Pasavinos after being accustomed to all the other breeds? Well, interesting enough. Was it a ride that did it? One ride and you were well, in? Well, no. Actually, <laughs> uh, everything that I learned about the Pasofino, I learned by training bird dogs. 
because I was a dog trainer also back in the day. And uh, at the field trials where we were going miles and miles and miles out through the countryside, there was always one gentleman, I remember his name, his name was Frank, and he was on a 14 hand slenderly built horse and we kept asking, well, what is that? And, and uh, he said, well, this is a Paso Fino. So the more I investigated, I'm saying, you know, we've got three and four horses in our trailer that we're changing horses at lunchtime and back out till, till dusk. He's riding the same horse. He's running the same horse six and seven days in a row. And his horse never did fatigue. I'm going, this is amazing. So when I did the heritage check, 500 years of selected breeding. There you go. So that's how I get everything I've learned basically about Paso Finos got started because of bird dogs. Wow, isn't that interesting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So share with us a little bit about the extravaganza. This is, has been an event that we've had here, I'm not sure how many years now, but very impressive, very well put on, an incredible show. Yes, the extravaganza is one of the premier shows in the United States. They do a tremendous job here at the World Equestrian Center. We used to do this in Tampa and we did it in some other cities, but boy, this has come to the top right here. This is wonderful. Some of the very best Paso Fino horses in the world are right here. And they live here in Ocala, just as you said earlier. Amazing. Yeah. Now, have you had a favorite horse or several favorites? They're all my favorites. Yeah, I, you know, after 300 plus national and world championships and titles, how can you pick one? It's hard to do, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So other than being inducted into the Hall of Fame for you and your wife, which is obviously huge, uh, massive accomplishment. Anything else on your bucket list with this incredible breed? Well, I've been very fortunate to, to have been given some of the accolades because of being in a position to do so at the time. A trainer of the year, I was a uh, Paso Fino, president of the Paso Fino Horse Association for two terms. So for four years, I was able to, in some ways, tweak and channel it to where it is today. And, and that's, that's very dear to my heart. When you make your living in this breed of horse, to us, my wife and I, it's very important that you give back. And so we've been doing training clinics. My wife is one of the very best show secretaries in the business. She travels around the country. We travel around with my, our daughter is our primary instructor. Our grandchildren are now riding. We go to all these shows throughout the country and Again, we try to support and give back and give back and give back. I think that's incredible. I had noticed a lot of younger riders. I see it being passed on to the next generation. It's a great legacy. Yes, most of the trainers here, they have children and they put them on these horses as I now have grandchildren. And it's, it's a wonderful scenario to see it come up through the ranks and to see the success, see the face on the riders out here when they, even if they get a third or fourth place, just to see hey, them I was smile and- with oh, my fifth. Oh, absolutely, sure, <laughs> sure. So, like yeah, a Cheshire yeah. cat. <laughs> yeah, it's not all about first. No. It's about self-accomplishment and yes. uh, the experience and did you have a good time? Last question. There's a little bit of a preconceived notion about uh, Pasofinos that I'm always trying to overcome with people because I've sure. got to know these horses through friends and, and through riding them myself. There's a little preconceived notion about them being hot and difficult to handle and that's actually not the case at all. Um, they're, they're hot when they need to be, right, for action, um, but not hot in the negative sense. No, you said it exactly right. They are hot when they need to be. The only way they can maintain this gait is to have what we call brio, that motor, that desire, that drive, that power. And without that motor, they're just going to not excel at the gait. So what we do as trainers is we allow them to have that brio, but we teach them how to turn it on, turn it off, and ask for it when we need it. So is it a little bit more hot, a little bit more spirit than maybe your Western Pleasure Quarter Horse? Yes, yes it but is. But you go places, don't oh, you? Oh <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, again, it takes energy to do that four beat gait versus just technically a two beat trot. Right. So yeah. Yeah. But an amazing breed. Yes, it's wonderful. It's been our life, and uh, we are so fortunate uh, to be with this huge right. family. Again, this family with Pasofino horses is in seven countries, not just here. 
but we're the leaders. We know we're the leaders. We got the best rule book. We've got the most integrity in our registry. We DNA, we blood type, we microchip. There's no games with PFHA. That's amazing. Rick Meyer, thank you so much. Really my appreciate you talking to us and sharing this incredible breed and this wonderful event here in the horse capital. Thank you, and I do appreciate the opportunity. Master of Ceremonies for this event and Hall of Fame inductee, pretty impressive, Rick Meyer, here at World Equestrian Center at the Pasifino Extravaganza, an incredible event. I'm Louisa Barton for the Horse Talk Show and Equus Television. Thank you to the presenting sponsor of this portion of the Horse Talk Show, Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience. Thank you to our TV broadcast sponsor, Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. Also, thank you to supporting sponsors, Nirvana Medical Spa, TT Distributors, Summit Joint Performance, Equigreen, Midnight Rose Equestrian, the Florida Horse Park, Horse Farms Forever, and the Equine Performance and Innovative Center. <laughs>this hour of the horse talk show is presented by palm chevrolet in ocala where the entire team is committed to making your experience in sales and service hassle-free and easier than ever with no games or gimmicks come in and visit on southwest college road or online at palmchevrolet.com a second to none experience with all the amenities palm chevy find new roads The Equine Performance and Innovative Center, situated on 30 pristine acres in the horse capital of the world, is one of the finest and most complete conditioning and rehab centers for equines and canines in the nation, including an equine hyperbaric chamber, aqua pacer, water treadmill, cold water leg spa, equine swimming pool, Eurosizer, and more. Epic equine veterinarians specializing in rehab and conditioning. For more information, go to epcrehab.com or find them on social media. This show was brought to you in part by TT Distributors, dedicated to bringing their customers the largest selection of quality horse supplements, products, and farrier supplies in Florida at affordable prices. Also online at ttdistributors.com. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. Back on the final segment of the Horse Talk Show this week, presented by Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience. Thank you to Larson Farms, our television broadcast sponsor. Idaho's finest alfalfa. We are in the CEP Equine Studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital of the world. Louisa Barton here with Dancing Pete Roda. And we're going to start with another mention for the Piranha Life Golf Tournament. Pete just said, that's so far off. It really isn't. It's just a few months to November. Shocking as that might be. Wow. November 2nd and 3rd is the event. Um, Out-of-town guests arrive on the 2nd and the hotel check-in. And then on the 3rd, they have the breakfast registration, golf tournament, lunch, buffet, intermission, silent auction, and then the dinner and award ceremony. And what's amazing about this is the beneficiaries, guess what? One of them's gentle carousel miniature therapy horses. Yay. I think that's super appropriate. And also the heart of Florida Youth Ranch and also the K9 Warriors program. So great beneficiaries for this. It is a fantastic family foundation benefit and we loved it last year. It's going to be a phenomenal event again this year. Thank you to Piranha for doing such a great job with that event. And we're looking forward to having it again. It'll be fun. Yes, indeed. So now we have Pete's. Horsemanship tip of the week. Maybe it's don't lick your fingers. There's a long story about that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Jason Pete's tip of the week brought to you by Complimentary Horsemanship. Okay, today's tip of the week is for you to be... I just lost it. <laughs> today's tip of the week is to be... Or not to be. Or not that to is be. The that question. is the question. What no, is the question? The tip of the week is to be pleased but not satisfied. So no matter what your horse is doing, you got to stay pleased. 
Now, that doesn't mean you have to be satisfied. So if it's going wrong, still be, I'm pleased, but I'm not satisfied. And this is one of my mentors used to talk about all the time is if you have a dog that won't come to you and you're not pleased, they're probably not going to come to you. Okay, but if you stay pleased but not satisfied, I still want you to come here, then you're going to get it. So, And do that for yourself or your students. Be pleased. They're not getting it, but don't be satisfied yet. I'm and then sometimes you're both. I'm pleased if I just get to see mine. There you go. <laughs> be pleased you get to see your horses. A visit with Flynn is always pleasing. Okay. <laughs> it really is. We're going to switch it up to equestrian health. Here is Fabian from Reboot. Hi, I'm Fabian Ronick with Reboot Self-Care Center, and your tip of the day and for those of us that can't go to the bathroom on a regular basis or you feel like you should be able to go more often, one trick you guys could try is to take aloe vera juice, the inner filet aloe vera juice, drink two ounces of it after each meal of the day, and see if that helps you become more regular. And if it doesn't, then reach out to us and we can give you some more tips to try out or listen out for the next tip to help that. <laughs> Constipation yes. poop -poop problems. The Horse Talk Show goes to the dogs because if you're a horse owner, I guarantee you probably got a dog or two as well on the farm. Ocala Dog Ranch, tip mm. from Neil. The Horse Talk Show goes to the dogs at Ocala Dog Ranch. Hi there, Neil Hennessy, Ocala Dog Ranch. A really good exercise regimen for your dogs is swimming. This is Florida though, so make sure you can find somewhere safe without gators or snakes. But uh, swimming is really good exercise for them. It's low impact, it's good for puppies and older dogs, and it's also good for yourself. So next time you want to exercise your dog, why don't you think about doing some swimming? Yeah. Swim, swim, swim. You know, you can rent the pool at Ocala Dog Ranch and take your dogs for a swim. Wow. And they love it. I mean, they love it out there. They have such a blast. I actually posted on Facebook the other day that I was on the way to take my dogs for their vaccines. And they got so excited at the front door. And I had to tell them, we're not going to see Uncle Neil. I'm really sorry. Oh, I know. They were Poor so guys. excited until we got all the way there. No, and they Uncle were like, Neil. this is not the Ocala Dog Ranch. What are we doing? We're in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got to do another mention for the extravaganza. Don't forget about this coming up because this is going to be a phenomenal equine edutainment event, July 22nd at the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion, presented by West Florida Fence and the Horse Talk Show to benefit Spirit Equine Therapy, we've had them in the studio to talk about their programs and Open Hands Animal Rescue uh, do absolutely amazing work. Both organizations do. The Florida Mounted is a phenomenal organization. And they're going to have a breed parade, which is Luisa's favorite, demos, kids crafts, vendors, and more. So come out and see us during this fabulous extravaganza we'll be uh hanging around interviewing people and uh making making sure you get a good a good shot of everything that's going on if you are not in ocala and not available that weekend but we think it's going to be a really really incredible event a wonderful way to showcase really what makes us the horse capital which is so many breeds most people don't know that we have 62 breeds in this area is that with phillips horse added 63 Six. Ooh. 63 with Phillips horse added. Um, do we have that little paddock blade? Yes, we do. Let's yes. check it out for a second, shall we? I've been using it. It's phenomenal. So this is a paddock blade that picks up poop for you so you don't have to pick up your own poop. <laughs> so I've been loving it. I've been using it on the farm. I get it out instead of having to get my student to go and pick poop. Sue... Loved it, this her replacement. This last segment's got a lot of poop topic. Yeah, a lot of poop talk it. Yeah, so nice, there's Philip nice and I it. as he delivered it, and we're playing with it. So I really appreciate it over there. And that's great. And a lot of people like to fertilize with the poop, but you still have to gather it up and let it 
sit for a while and then you can always make that pile and then re-spread it as fertilizer later on but you got to get it off so you don't get when those you can patches. see on that last video you can see those patches that are now too full of poop yeah if you've got poop piles you're going to get patches sandy patches in the in the field so it's really uh it is this is a, a great tool this is a fantastic tool and you can reach out to philip at equine saddle fit and he can get you all sorted out with not just your saddle but your poop scooper too and you can use this behind a four-wheeler or anything you have i'm so. really wanting a mini version of that for uh, the backyard to put on the back of the little mower for the dog poop yeah and i actually did it with some tree limbs i put it on the paddock blade and drug it to the pile so we could burn it so I used it for other means. I'm going to come up with new ways of using it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Don't forget that Thursdays in June at the Ocala Downtown Market for Horses and Literacy. You can come down. There is no charge uh, for what this time? program. It's at 10 a.m. It starts at 10 a.m. on Thursdays. Be there at 10 a.m. Be there at 10 a.m. And you will get to uh, hear from Debbie at Gentle Carousel Miniature Therapy Horses. Wonderful. A children's book that she'll read it's always got a great message in it and then of course they'll bring the miniature horse out of the out of their van so that the kids can meet a horse and meet the horse out of the book and Ooh. doesn't get much better than that does it no man i love how excited that always makes you when you talk about <laughs> I'm like it. i wish i was a kid again because i'd be like oh <gasps> There's the horse. <laughs> it's definitely I've been like, give me it. another book. I need to read. <laughs> yeah, I need to read. I need to read. And really encouraging children to continue reading during the summer is so important. I, I remember my kids. Why do we have to read? It's summertime. So this is a great way to get that uh, rolling for this summer. So come on down to the Ocala Downtown Market Thursdays at 10 a.m. That's the end. That's the end. Whether you're in Ocala, Marion County or not, the horse capital of the world, happy horsing around. Till the same time next week. See you next time.